Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby, and today we are doing another massive perfume haul. I already told you, okay, I got lots of perfumes in here, um, and I have to share them with you. We have some fails, but I will not consider them like fails, fails. Like I like them, but they're just not wow. But then we have, then we have some amazing perfumes, and I discovered one that I'm. I'm like completely obsessed like I'm obsessed it's probably like top 10 right now for me um yeah it's just amazing so I had to share them with you so before we start if you like this video don't forget to pick thumbs up subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in right let's start with a brand I have just one perfume from and that one is Killian I uh, recently declared good girl gone bad because I said in my declutter video I really liked it, like I absolutely loved it when I first got it and then, I don't know, like this year it starts to get like very green obviously the fragrance is the same but to my nose it starts to get like very very green and I didn't really like it that much if you don't know, Good Girl Gone Bad is this fresh tuberose with some osmantis in it like very elegant but for me it got like super green so I decluttered that one and then I got a blind bot obviously because this is what we do good girl gone bad extreme because people are saying that this one is not as green and it's way way creamier it has a milk note so i said yes please i want that so here we have obviously your standard killian presentation i think the old bottle was black this time uh, they changed it it's white it's exactly the same as good girl gone bad the only difference is obviously it says here extreme and i do like it i do like it more than the original but i thought i'm gonna love it like i just really like it but i still don't love it because let me tell you first the notes okay we have good girl gone bad extreme notes opening osmantis jasmine rose de mai the mai the may i think so uh tuberose milk and narcissus fried down amber whites and white cedar extract it's very similar, okay? Like, very, very similar. It's definitely not as green, but the tuberose is still quite green. But then the dry down is definitely getting um, creamier than the original. But the difference is not, like, that big. And for the price, because this one, the extreme version, I think it's 200 and something. But I got it from All Beauty. All Beauty. I can't talk today. From All Beauty, it was like the same price as the regular good girl gone bad so that's what i was like okay fine i'll just get it i will wear it i don't wear it yet okay i just like test it in the house i will wear it and i'm gonna decide what i'm gonna do with this because like i said in the comments people are saying that this one is just stunning amazing like compared to the original it's way 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 creamier because obviously it has a milk note it is it is creamier you're getting the the osmantis is slightly stronger for me i'm getting mostly the tuberose okay but comparing to the original is the osmantis is slightly stronger and it's creamier and not as green but it's not like the difference is not that big you know like this is basically kind of how i used to smell the original and now that one turned like way too green but i wish this one was like sweeter maybe because people are saying it's also like sweeter and even creamier i do really like it i do really like it i'm just like i thought it's gonna be a bit more you know especially because the price difference is like quite a lot your the original i think uh retail price is 185 this one i think is 225 so you would expect the difference to be i don't know to be a difference in there it is but it's not that much I do really like it, I'm gonna wear it and I'm gonna come back to you and I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with this one right now. I'm like, yep, it's nice, but I was just expecting something more. Good girl, gone bad, um, extreme from Killian. Alright, let's move on to a brand that I was very interested in because you hear about them here and there, but like nobody really talked about them. Um, I got two perfumes. I'm thinking to get another one, but again, like, reviews on Fragrantica, um, that thing is not that good, so that's why I'm a bit, like, defensive. But one of them, it's a total love, and the other one, it's a big like, just because it really reminds me of another fragrance. I'm talking about 
Atar collection. The first one that I got in here is Kaltat, I think it's Kaltat Night. That is a presentation. You're getting a velvet box and then it's very hard to open. Here you go. Let me just put this on in here. That is the bottle. People were saying this one is like the best cherry fragrance and then people as well were comparing this, this one to Angel Share from Kirin. I don't have Angel Share. I kind of like it, but I wasn't like, I need this. Um, there are lots of fragrances that have like the same type of DNA. They're like boozy, sweet. Um, I had from Boucheron, Alexandria, Ambre. Was it Ambre, Alex Alexandria, Ambre? I can't remember. It was one from Boucheron that I really liked, but still it didn't feel like me. That like, you know, like boozy, apple pie, that type of scent. And, uh, it's uh, Ambre Narguilé, I think from Hermes, that also smells very similar. This one smells very similar to Angel Share, but it has a very strong cherry note. And the cherry changes everything. Let me tell you about the notes. We have cherry, um, cinnamon, vanilla, apple, patchouli, and white musk. Let me spray it in here. This one is basically, you take that angel shelf DNA, you add lots of um, apples covered in cinnamon, like lots of them, but the cinnamon is sweet, it's not that like spicy or like no, it's just a sweet cinnamon that is covering some green apples and then you put some like cherry topping on top. It's so good and it's beast mode, like beast mode. I got this one from, I couldn't find them anywhere and then I saw Seasense has them. I think they were like 99 pounds, something like that or 100 pounds and I said why not, you know. If you live in the UK, generally, if you press an order today, you're going to receive your package tomorrow, the day after, like, the latest. It's, like, super, super, super fast. Not sponsor, nothing like that. I'm, I'm just buying from there. It's a good website, especially if you live in the UK. Oh, this is so good. This is exactly what I wanted. Not necessarily Angel shirt to be, like, I wanted that type of DNA, but more me. This one feels more me because I can definitely smell the cherry in it. I would not say it's a, it's a cherry bomb. So if you're looking for that, maybe this one is not for you. Because it's not just about the cherry. It's not Lost Cherry from Tom Ford. It's not um, Bodacious from Bodicia. It's not that. <sighs> but it's so good. It's cherry. Apples, green apples covered in cinnamon. And then you take the base of Angel Share. So beautiful, absolutely love it. And I sprayed it um, on my skin and it lasted the whole day and it projects, it's it's very good quality. Like the juice inside is very good quality. I really like it, I really like the bottle. So yeah, really, really happy with this one. Kalta at night uh, from Atar Collection. And then the next one, we have Crystal Love. I bought that one first and I really, really liked it. And I said, okay, you know what, let me just buy this one as well because it was for the same price on C-Sense. I was like, why not? Let me let me try it. Crystal Love, it's supposed to be a chocolate scent. And then on Fragrantica, it's like very confusing because people are comparing it to Casablanca from Swiss Arabian and that one has no chocolate in it. And then you have people that are saying that it's very strong on the chocolate. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to buy it. I have um, Casablanca, I do really like it, so what can go wrong? We have Crystal Love Notes, opening fruits and rose. Middle we have uh, milk, chocolate, white mask and nutmeg. And right now we have bourbon vanilla and honka beer. When you first spray it, you're gonna be like Casablanca from Swiss Arabian. But I do have Casablanca from Swiss Arabian and I compare them side by side. It's exactly that type of vanilla. They're similar in Keali vanilla. They're like, it's, I know it says bourbon vanilla, but for me it smells more like a Madagascar vanilla. And you're getting maybe somewhere in the background some like cacao. Yeah, you're getting somewhere in the background, but it's not chocolate, it's mostly cacao. 
when you compare them side by side, this one is definitely sweeter than Casablanca. It's way thicker and richer and Casablanca has that apple note and that make it, makes it like bright, even though it's very sweet, it's also very bright and like a, like a bit fruity, obviously from the apple. This one feels like way thicker, heavier, and then you're getting that like a cow powder in the background. I do really like it. Now, which one I like more? I kind of like this one more. It's obviously way more expensive than Casablanca, but I do really like this one. And again, same story as the other one. It's beast mode. Like it projects and it lasts and yeah. I will not say this one is a chocolate fragrance. For me, this one is definitely a vanilla fragrance. If you're looking for a very sweet, thick, syrupy vanilla that's going to last the whole day and it's going to project, this is it. I do really like it, okay? Yes, it's very similar to Casablanca, but again, there are differences. That one has something bright, fresh, that upper note. This one is just thick and heavy. Not heavy to the point where you can't wear it, but it's way thicker and way, way heavier. I do like it. I do really like it. I'm just kind of annoyed a bit that maybe if that chocolate note was a bit more like, was stronger, not necessarily chocolate, but like that cacao note was stronger. Maybe it'd be like something else, but I already smell this type of DNA. But again, it's a very good one. I do like it. If you don't have that type of vanilla, like for me, it's Madagascar vanilla. I don't know why it says bourbon. They're like thick, rich vanilla. Check this one out. It's good. It's expensive. Expensive, but not like super expensive. I mean like 99, 100 pounds for 100 mil. It's not a bad price. It's kind of like designer price and it's beast mode. That's one thing that I really, really like. So uh, we have here the second fragrance from Atar Collection. It's Crystal Love. Okay, let's move on to the brand that stole my heart. First of all, because um, the packaging, the bottle, like the bottles are just amazing okay like i'm in love and i got three fragrances from uh, stefan humbert lucas i've heard about this uh, brand i saw it here on youtube i was like eh, you know eh. and then demi talked about one fragrance uh god god of fire i think that one was yeah god of fire um and i was like hmm I want to check them out. I bought them uh, from the official website. The official website took, I think, like three, four days to be delivered. And I don't think it shipped from the UK. So it was very fast. They're giving you, I think I got like two samples of other fragrances with each packaging. Um, yeah, it, experience, like customer service, everything experience was good. I didn't have any problems, any delays. Everything went like fast. Packaging was very, very nicely wrapped. And then I got the scents. Firstly, I bought two perfumes, because why not? I bought Venom Incarnate and God of Fire. Um, now, the thing is, I never tested any of these, okay? So I just went based on reviews here on YouTube, and you can't really find that many reviews on YouTube, and then on Fragrantica. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna start with like, the one that I like the least, and then I have one that I absolutely love. Let's start with Venom Incarnate. This one, so you're getting the sleeve, and then you have the box in here, and that is the bottle. I mean, let's talk about the bottle. You're getting this, oh, I can't open this. Uh, you're getting the cobra with the red eyes, like, are you for real? Like this bottle, it's stunning. Why well, I didn't clean it before. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Now, the scent. Um, I do really like it now. But when I first tested it, I was like, uh, I don't think so. Like, no, I don't think I'm going to keep this on. Because I couldn't really find anything here on YouTube. So I went on Fragrantica and it has a verb, like has wild strawberries and it has a strawberry note. And then it has, I think a blackberry note and the raspberry note. And I was like, that's gonna be a gourmand, a fruity gourmand. It is and it's not. Maybe it's just my skin. Let me tell you about the notes. We have wild strawberries, strawberry, caramel, and blackberry. Like, come on, how good that sounds. Middle we have a raspberry, virginian cedar, and sandalwood. And right down we have Russian leather, patchouli, 
chunk of bean and banana. For me, to my nose, on my skin, on my clothes, okay? What I'm getting is strawberry, but wild strawberries. Like, strawberry that it's a bit green, it's not as sweet, with some vanilla. And this, like, I don't know, patchouli oil. I saw some comments saying that they really smell the patchouli, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm not gonna smell the patchouli, like, I like the patchouli. When I spray it and I smell like clothes, I'm definitely getting the patchouli. When when I got this one, I was a bit like, mm, I'm not sure about the patchouli in this. Like I wanted it to be a good one, but when I spray it on me, and obviously people are not gonna get like that close. Like in the air, I'm getting just wild strawberries. I've asked a coworker, and he said that it's. For him, it smells just like strawberries, like very, very sweet strawberries. So it might be just my nose that is not working properly. But yeah, now I do like it because I know when I spray it, the sillage is like wild strawberries. This is what I'm getting. I'm not getting the patchouli, nothing like that. But just when I get closer, I'm like, oh, I'm still getting the patchouli. But, but, but listen, hear me out, okay? I layer this one one day with vanilla from Keari. I'm telling you, this combination is just amazing. It smells like the most beautiful, edible vanilla strawberry, I don't know, cake. It's, it's divine. It's delicious. It's, yes, I'm obsessed. I'm completely obsessed. So, try it. Try to find a sample. Because, like I said, other people are not smelling the patchouli. I am smelling the patchouli. I've tried it, obviously, on paper, on my skin, on my clothes. I'm still smelling the patchouli. It's not super strong, but it's there. And I was like, I want just a gourmand. I want just, like, a fruity fragrance. I don't want any patchouli in it. Like, now I'm getting the patchouli. But if I do this, I'm getting the, just the strawberries. Wild strawberries, more exactly. So, yeah. I do really like it now. I found a solution because I really didn't want to declutter this because, uh, come on, just look at this bottle. I really wanted this bottle for my collection. Uh, but yeah, I would say try it first, see where you can find the sample because on me, the patchouli is quite strong. So the first one that we're having here is Venom Incarnate. All right, let's move on to the next one. If you, if you can hear a background noise, I'm really, really sorry. I just had to open my window because I'm actually boiling in here and I don't know why I decided to wear a long sleeve. Anyway, next one that we have is God of Fire. Basically, this is the perfume that started everything. Um, blind buy, because why not? And I do really like it. But again, I will say test it first, okay? We have God of Fire has notes, mango, red berries, uh, ginger, and lemon. Middle we have coumarin, oudinose, and jasmine. And then right down we have cypriot oil, musk, wood, and amber. When you spray, it's a pretty linear fragrance in my opinion. When you spray it, you're definitely getting mango, but it's not a sweet mango. It's more like a green mango with some lemon. Not really getting like any berries, and then you're getting this like base of maybe like the cereal oil with the amber, and then the woody notes. It's like fresh and airy in the same time, but then you're getting this base that it's a bit like aromatic, like a bit darker, aromatic, earthy things like that. I do really like it. I do really like it. I thought for some reason it's gonna be a bit like sweeter, especially when I saw mango in there. It's definitely unisex in my opinion. I wear it already. It works like nicely on the skin. I, I don't smell it after a couple of hours, but I've noticed that people around me can still smell me. So probably it's just me. I do really like it. It's a freshie. For me, it's a freshie with like a fruity, woody undertone. You need to test it first. You need to, to test it first because I feel like when you see mango, you just expect something sweeter maybe. And then I don't want you to be disappointed. It's a very beautiful scent. I do really like it. I don't regret uh, buying it. 
but it's not my favorite because like i said i have another one that i'm just like obsessed right now and nobody nobody talks about that one it's a very good one try it um it's perfectly unisex in my opinion but try it first because i don't want you to be like i know underwhelmed or anything like that god of fire um is the second fragrance that we have and now let's move on to the last one and the one that stole my heart basically i bought these two and like i said i got four samples in total two with um, one perfume two with the other one and i got a bit curious about sand dance i i read the notes on fragrantica i was like hmm that one looks interesting but like nobody talks about it and i got a sample i was like yes yes i want to see I'm, I'm telling you what people on fragrantica are saying is not necessarily what i'm smelling like for me this thing is divine it's a masterpiece it's just amazing um I, was, I forgot to mention the prices that 50 ml and i think in pounds it's like 175 so it's kind of like killian prices but this one like this one it's like worth every single penny it's it's that good the bottle is the same collection the bottle is this like amazing chocolate like caramel color just I love this bottle. This is probably my favorite one. And the scent, like I said, is, is divine. If you like what I like, you're gonna love it. We have Sundance notes. Whiskey, coriander, and mandarin orange. Middle, cacao, sandalwood, and cashmerian. Dry down, benzoin, tonka bean, styrax, white cedar, and patchouli. People were saying that it's very dry. It's a cacao sandalwood scent, but it's very, very dry. And I was a bit scared. Oh my God. I can smell it from here. Oh my. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm, it's so, for me, it's not as, it, yes, it's a bit dry, but it's very creamy for me. It's dry and creamy at the same time. What I'm getting is lots and lots of cacao like sandalwood covered in cacao and you're getting that texture like sandalwood it has cashmere that cashmere texture but it's covered in like dark almost like not it's not bitter but it's also creamy almost like cacao chocolate but it's so strong and then just with a hint of that whiskey it has just something boozy but just like a drop you know i don't get anything else i don't get orange coriander patchouli this is what i'm getting and maybe the the cedar i'm getting some cedar as well but in like especially the opening the cacao in the opening when you first spray it it's just so delicious but it's still not necessarily a gourmand because you're getting that like cedar with sandalwood it's a masterpiece it's it's amazing and this beast mode if the other two yes they project the last this one it projects on my skin like, like crazy i'm obsessed i am obsessed like when i first sprayed it i was afraid again people are saying it's a very very dry scent I can see like the cedar is dry but the scent itself is not necessarily dry because you're getting that creaminess from the sandalwood it's such a beautiful it's so unique and beautiful but still wearable and unisex obviously it has cacao that kind of turns into chocolate but it's not super sweet like i can definitely see a guy wearing this one oh my god like if you want to test just one fragrance from this brand i will say and you like what i like i will say go with this one because it's so unique it's so oh i love it i just, i have no words i love it right now it's getting very hot again so i can't wear it i'm kind of annoyed about that but i know i'm gonna have the fall i'm gonna have the winter but it's just so good like it's unbelievable good it's it's amazing i love it i'm just in love i'm in love you need to try this you need don't blind buy because i i never encourage blind buying even though i do it all the time um 
but try it because this is everything. Sundance uh, from Stefan Humbert Lucas, definitely, definitely something that you have to try. All right, if the angle changed a little bit, I'm really sorry. I just I thought that I finished recording, and then when I looked, my camera didn't have enough memory. So yeah, I just stopped recording, and I was just here talking for like 20 minutes without recording. Recording. So now I'm recording again this part. Anyway, we got from Carner Barcelona quite a lot of fragrances. I already have uh, Palo Santo that I'm in love and obsessed, and yeah. And I got some other samples before. I've tested uh, Tardes, Rima, and Elborn. I like Tardes and Rima, but they felt like way too soft. And then I really, really liked Elborn. I, now that I have them, I am pretty sure I got bad samples because, or oh, like, not necessarily bad, but like old samples because they didn't smell as strong as the actual perfume. Now, with Carner Barcelona, if I said I had a very good experience with uh, the previous brand, that everything went super smooth, fast, not the same in here. Okay, they messed up a bit, a bit more my order, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you about that in a moment. I got they have these like miniature sets uh, where you can pick, okay, three perfumes, any perfumes that you want, and they're gonna be 10 ml and it's like a three uh, perfume set. And it's not that expensive because I wanted more perfumes from them, but I didn't want the big bottle. And also they have like a shipping uh, fee if you spend less than something. So that's why I said, okay, I'm going to buy one of the new releases and then I'm going to buy two miniature sets and I'm going to test every single perfume that I want to test. Right, right. It didn't go like that. But anyway, we have the first one, the ones that I already tested and I was like, why not? Just why not? Let me get a bottle, a small bottle, because I kind of liked it but now. I'm glad I did because I like them more. Tardes, Rima, I think it's actually Rima Onte, and then Elbor. Let's start with Tardes. Tardes, when you're looking online, you're going to be like, oh my god, it's an almost, and it is and it's not, okay? Tardes has almond, rosewood, um, rose and geranium then we have middle plum virginia cedar and celery and then write down heliotrope tonka bean and musk what i'm getting the most is heliotrope if you don't know how heliotrope smells like it's basically this like floral powdery vanillic almond scent i know it makes no sense but once you smell it you know how it smells and then some almond powder this is what i'm getting it's powdery it smells clean in the same time, it's almondy, it's a, a bit like balmy. I do really like it. it. I know it feels like you washed your clothes with like the most exper um, expensive, luxurious, almond scented, I know, like laundry softener, something like that. Because it has a clean thing going on as well, but it's powdered almond. The heliotrope gives the, a bit of like floral nuances. I do really like it. I do really like it and it's way stronger than my sample. That's why I didn't buy it in the first place because I was like, yeah, this is not strong enough. The actual bottle is way stronger, so I'm really happy with this one. Next, Rima Onthe. Um, Rima Onthe has notes, cardamom, black pepper, saffron and mint, um, cinnamon, nutmeg, coriander and jasmine, Madagascar vanilla, sandalwood, benzoin, amber, virginian cedar, and musk. This one, okay, you are definitely getting the black pepper, you're getting the cinnamon, and you're getting the cardamom. This is what I'm getting the most. It's an interesting scent. Again, it has this like clean quality, especially in the dry down. Like opening is very strong on the black pepper. It's an interesting scent. I will not buy a big bottle, but like time from time to time, I might want to smell like this, you know? So I, I saw someone saying that it's a gourmand. I'm not getting anything gourmand for me. It's like black pepper for sure with some cardamom, with some cinnamon. It's a different type of scent with some jasmine. I'm definitely getting the jasmine now. It's a different type of scent. I do really like it. Um, it's not a love. I do like Tardes more. But I do really like it, so I'm happy with the small bottle. And now the last one from this set 
it's Elpor, the one that I wanted a full bottle because I fell in love with the sample and now that I have this, this is way stronger than my sample and I'm not that in love anymore, probably I'm not gonna keep this one. Elborn has honey, angelica, calabrian bergamot, um, and Sicilian lemon. Middle we have benzoin, fig, heliotrope, and jasmine. And right down we have Madagascar vanilla, uh, Peru balsam, sandalwood, and musk. Mm. It's very balsamic. Definitely getting like the Peru balsam, benzoin. I think that angelica doesn't work. Because you're getting something sweet and like thick that probably is the honey but then you're getting this like herbal thing that mm, I, I don't like it I, I don't like it I think it's the angelica that I don't like I don't know why I told you when I got when I had my sample I was smelling mostly this like honey sandalwood but again it wasn't as strong as this so I'm definitely sure my samples were like bad I'm, I'm I don't I don't really like this one I don't really like this one, this one is going, but I do really like Tardes and I do like uh, Rima. And now, let's move on to the next set. So, basically, uh, they have this, I don't know how it's called, collection. That they were like citruses in blue bottles. And they had Marbella. I think it's Lucomor, Lucomoir, I have no idea how to pronounce that. I know it's an ancient uh, region. Uh, from like Russia or something like that but it makes no sense why they put that name when they're in Spain I don't know, it doesn't matter and then Ibiza Nights and you, like I said, you pick which fragrances you want I went, I did that my confirmation order said the right fragrances and then I got Marbella and then two Lucomore instead of one and then one Ibiza Nights and I'm like I wanted to try that one like this was the whole purpose of me buying this kit the discovery kit the like miniature kit why you didn't include that I said like, okay okay someone made a mistake okay so I emailed them and uh, I didn't get an email back it's been a week 10 days I got nothing back like I didn't test them for the first like five days I'll say I don't need to spray them maybe they want me to send it back maybe I, I don't know but nobody replied to me nothing no nothing nada nothing so yeah not impressed with the customer service I'm not saying it's a bad company I'm not blaming the company because every single company has like some like people that don't do their job properly okay like the first person was the one that didn't put the right fragrance in here and the second one the one that saw probably my email and didn't reply to it because probably they don't know that now i'm here and i'm telling you like on youtube that they messed up because i really really wanted that one so yeah i'm just i'm just i don't know i'm done i'm with that I'm, I'm just done um it's it took quite a long long time to get my fragrances here it makes sense it's coming from spain okay but at least reply to my email please no nothing anyway the good part is, this one is my favorite. Okay, so now I have two. So in a way, I'm happy about that, but in the other way, I'm like, I really want the other one. Let's start with Marbella, that Marbella is going. Marbella has Bulgarian Rose, Black Coven, Black Pepper, uh, Peony, Green Tea, and Jasmine, and then Peach, Musk, and Amber. Marbella is this, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of a bit of Oscar de la Renta, Bella Rosa. But like fresher, yeah, it reminds me of that. It reminds me of that, but it kind of has a, even a bit more like rose and peony. Like they're like fresh, trying to be sweet and fruity, but not really for my liking because I have the Lina that is like masterpiece. I have other roses, I have Idola, I have other fruity roses that are way, way, way better. So this one really doesn't impress me, especially because it has peony, so like me and peony, mm, not really. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm just not impressed with this one. But with the other one, the one that was actually a mistake, but in a way I'm happy. Lucomor, I'm just going to call it Lucomor, okay, I have no idea how to pronounce it. Should I pronounce it in like Russian or in English or in Spanish or I, I, I just don't know. 
I really like this one. Okay, this one has lemongrass, bergamot, and grapefruit. In the middle, we have blackcurrant, rose, velvet, or vetiver. I don't know what I wrote, doesn't matter. You have in here, um, and pink pepper. And then right down, we have patchouli, musk, and hibiscus seed. I really like this one. You're definitely getting that lemongrass. It's like a lemony, but then a bit herbal, but without being green. But still kind of has like a sweetness. Mm, I really like it. Like this one, it's amazing. It's going to be amazing for the summertime. Feels super refreshing. Feels Doesn't feel like just a lemon perfume. It has something else going on. I do really like it. Like it's a sweet flirty lemony scent i do really like it i'm really really happy with this one and now the last one um i wish i had ibiza night but i don't the last one is uh, the, like one of the new releases they released super moon uh Sally limon and then tennis club i got a sample of tennis club and i kind of liked it but it was like very very green i like the smell but not only I wish I got a sample of Sally Limon because that one sounds like interesting, salt and lemon, why not? But we don't have it, it's fine, it's okay. But I got a bottle, pay for it obviously, from um, Carne Barcelona, Super Moon. This one was the like fruity, I'm sorry about that, I have my window open because I'm melting. Um, this, this, were the, this was the like fruity perfume, they had like a green one, a citrus one and then a fruity one in the new collection it's coming just in a 30 ml bottle which i really like i couldn't include it in the in the discovery kit because it's like the new release uh, but it's fine 30 ml it's fine i do like it it's nothing wow to be honest but i do really like it it has pomegranate I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Uh, yellow mandarin and cassis, jasmine, white amber and lily of the valley, patchouli, vetiver and musk. I do like it. It's a fun, flirty, fruity fragrance. It's nothing wow. Gives me a bit of like sunset hour from uh, Goldfield and Banks, but this one's way fruitier. I like it. I, you know what? I really like it. Definitely getting like this fruity with a bit of orange, some jasmine in there, some cassis. I like it. It's nothing so complex, it's nothing, it, it's just a no-brainer. Do you need this one? Probably not. Still my favorite, still my favorite, it's Palo Santo. I love, love, love that one. Then it's Lucomore. Then it's Tardes. Then I would say Rima Once. And then, no, Rima Once and Supermoon, they're like, kind of like the same, I would say. Yeah. But I like, I like them. Also, I, I, I like this one. It's... It's fun. It's just a fruity, fun fragrance. And it doesn't smell cheap. It doesn't smell too expensive either. It doesn't, it doesn't smell cheap. I like it, okay? It, it, it's a nice fragrance. Uh, but I'm still not happy with what happened. Anyway, the last fragrance that we have in here is Supermoon from Carner Barcelona. And that was it for today, guys. That was it. Please let me know in the comments down below if you ever tested any of these fragrances. Um, give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. If you don't, then don't give it a thumbs down i know do whatever you want and uh, yeah that was it for today thanks so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always and i'll see you in my next one Bye bye